Priority number one in the legislative agenda, check. True to his vow, House Speaker Martin Romualdez, with almost full backing of his peers, passed on third and final reading the General Appropriations Act, or proposed 2024 national budget that ensures government operations running smoothly without a snag beginning next year. And the Speaker couldn't have been any prouder, as Orion Lasigas reports. House Bill number 8980. The 2024 General Appropriations Bill is approved on third and final reading. After extensive deliberations and negotiations, the House of Representatives on Wednesday approved on the third and final reading the 5.768 trillion national budget for next year. 296 lawmakers voted yes, three negatives, and zero abstentions. The lower house will now constitute a small committee to assemble and, and finalize individual amendments with a deadline set for September 29. House Speaker Martin Romualdez said timely approval of the proposed budget is not only a response to the constitutional role of the chamber but also a dedication to serve the Filipinos with transparency and accountability. We adjourn today's session with heartfelt appreciation and profound gratitude for successfully accomplishing our sworn duty to craft and enable noteworthy laws. During the first period of the second regular session, the pillars of a strong nation rest in our capable hands, and each of us deserves no less than an earnest acknowledgement for completing the task. On the other hand, Gabriela Representative Arlen Brosas explained her no vote. She said, there was no clear discussion on the amendments and the government agencies that had been selectively provided huge funds are prone to kickbacks, especially infrastructure projects. Uh, Mr. Speaker, bilang natatanging kinatawa ng sektor ng kababaihan dito sa Kongreso, hindi po katanggap-tanggap ang pagkakaroon ng budget para sa uh, confidential funds habang kinaltasan naman ang mga program, programa natin uh, para sa kababaihan at bata tulad ng Council for the Welfare of Children, Juvenile Justice and Welfare Council, National Authority of Child Cares, Supplementary Feeding Program, Comprehensive Project for Street Children, Street Families and IPs, at marami pa pong iba. Although voted yes, Albay Representative Ed Salagman held back his reservations for 2024 GAB, including the relocation of controversial funds to the sectors of education, health, and social services. I vote yes with the following reservations. One, remove the confidential and intelligence funds from agencies whose respective principal mandates have no affinity or nexus to these secret funds. Two, reallocate the confidential and intelligence fund to education, health, and other social services. The objective of the proposed budget for the next year is to further speed up the country's recovery from the pandemic. Social services such as health, education, culture, and manpower development, as well as social security, welfare, and employment, will receive a large allocation that will reach 2.183 trillion or 37.9 percent. The education sector has one of the biggest allocations in the amount of 924.7 billion pesos that will be used in universal access to quality tertiary education program, textbook, and feeding programs. Tiwala ko na hindi lamang makatulong sa ipinasa nating budget para sa mapabuti at sa kalagayan ng mga Pilipino, susilin ito para magtuloy-tuloy ang ating pagbangon tungo sa mas magandang inabukasan. Ryan Lisiges for the nation.